so finally, one of my absolute favorite codes, maybe shouldn't have favorites, but you will find yours as well, I'm sure. They're all incredible. Um, but I love Tav. 22, the end of the Hebrew alphabet, the end of the Hebrew fire letters, the completion of the, the Hebrew fire letters, the end, but also the beginning, right? Divine completion. Very, very multi dimensional, incredible code indeed. So I've given the archetype as the ascended master. There is this completeness that comes with this code and you will find clients, particularly those who have 22 fours, because it's always coupled with the fours, in a talent position, they will just be quite complete inside themselves. They will feel quite complete. They perhaps don't need a huge amount of external input even, or they don't feel as if they perhaps need to have too many teachers. It's like, no, I'm pretty complete in myself. Like, there is this feeling of just having what you need inside of you when you're a, a talented 22-4. So the polarity theme, ugliness, beauty. So as I was saying yesterday, this is relating to acceptance in all forms, seeing the beauty in everything, uh, even in the darkest of situations and darkest of circumstances, there is always a speck of light. So finding that light, accepting it as part of the evolutionary journey that we're on seeing the the beautiful perfection of this incredible divine tapestry this web that we're all in can also be as i say blockages to accepting one's own beauty and finding like beautiful traits in other people so I spoke yesterday, a client of mine, plastic surgery. Um, she had a 22 and physical challenges, was really struggling to accept her inner and outer beauty. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the multidimensional <laughs> aspects of this code, because this code is truly quantum. This, the, the holder of these codes, Firstly, if they have it in the physical part of their charts, a 22, particularly in talents or goals, this is a person, a highly evolved soul, who is normally going to open up multidimensionally much earlier than most people do. So a lot of people, most people I would say, they go through their spiritual awakenings like after the age of 33, 35, sometimes even later than that. A 22-4 in the physical part of the, the profile, it's earlier. It's normally late 20s, normally as they're going through their Saturn returns. And, and a lot of us open up spiritually when we're going through our Saturn returns, but it's not just a spiritual opening up. It's a multidimensional awakening that the 22s have. So like the 22s, they will be attracted to like these types of teachings. I'm very multidimensional myself. My slides are multidimensional. You can see. Um, this is the type of, like, they're the, the young people coming up. They've got these expanded consciousnesses. They've come from, like, other dimensions. They've probably been on, on Earth before. They may, they're probably not from Earth, uh, but they've been on Earth before. And what is happening when you have a 22-4 in your profile is you are reconnecting with all aspects of who you are from here to source. So there is like a constant revelation and there is a constant unfolding of who you think you are, who you thought you were and who you are today. And just when you think that nothing else could be revealed, there is another revelation. And it's almost like you can change, you know, like you transform, you become almost different people because it's like as a, as a conduit, 
as in the in if you think about the matrix it's like you are going into different conduits in the matrix and embodying different blueprints throughout your life so you know you might start off in corporate or in a regular nine to five um, you might then go through your multi-dimensional awakening and you realize that you're a healer and then a bit later on down the road you realize that you are a wizard right you realize that you are a shaman like you you know it keeps on being revealed and you open up much more quickly to different races different species to it not just being the human species in the whole of the universe like you open up much more quickly to like extraterrestrials to other lifetime other life forms other species elementals the whole of all of the kingdoms you know you can see all of the kingdoms and um at some point you may meet them <laughs> you know you may meet them literally physically or in, or in meditation at least or in different different uh aspects of consciousness so it was interesting to me because i'm very i'm very empathic myself i'm highly psychic highly intuitive and i'm obviously very very connected to this system i had a client who had a short name she just had a triangle and she had two 22 fours in that triangle and she had one six six i spent a day with her and we had a lovely day exchanging really multi-dimensional stories she was telling me about her awakening i was telling her about mine and we we realized because i was looking at her profile she was looking at mine we both have very good communication skills she had the 22 fours the 22 fours have great communication skills they can access total creativity and and i was living in my caravan at the time and she was in a caravan in a different place in glastonbury and she had this most cosmic creative amazing caravan the way that she had kitted it out it was incredible and it's because of her 22 fours so creative we spent a day chatting together i went back to my caravan that night all of the night in my dream it was like i was boinging from one place to another it was like a pinball machine and i was bouncing off of these different edges these different like surfaces these different edges and it it's because i had been around somebody who had two 22 fours in their profile and you could look at it as four 22 fours right because it was a triangle so it doubles up i was going into all of these different pockets and that's what a 22 four does so they are they can see the big picture and she could see the big, big picture. I mean, she had like birds, not even bird's eye. She had, was like looking down from the multiverse. Huge, big picture understanding. And they, they just get it. They really, really just get the whole thing. The 22 fours, they can leave a legacy behind them. I mean, they can, they can create these vehicles, they're called perpetuating vehicles that keep on living long after they die. A perpetuating vehicle could be a book, a movie, right? There is stuff which is in our history from people who have long since transitioned, but it is this perpetuating vehicles, these legacies, that they can lead behind them. Challenge positions can be very difficult for the 22 fours, very, very difficult. And you may have a client who needs a lot of your support when it's in challenge. Mental health problems, distorted spiritual awakenings, believing that they are the Messiah. Um, it can go, it, it, it can really, go quite deep with the 22 four 
when it's in spiritual challenges, spiritual emergencies, dark nights of the soul, things like this. In challenge, the 22 fours, they can set up some very extreme circumstances for themselves. You know, these people who have got these stories of these lives and it's like, oh my God, that just reads like a movie. You know, who has that type of life? Just so many crises, so many disasters, so much. That can be the case when the 22 four is in challenge, these extreme experiences. And it's part of the polarity theme, beautiness, ugly, accepting the beauty in all things. So they can create these very extreme set of circumstances, which can be very traumatic and can make them want to leave this plane. And by the way, the 22 four in challenge can really, really be suffering from separation consciousness. The 10 ones as well, by the way, but really profoundly with the 22 fours, separation consciousness. They feel like they've been abandoned by the divine. Like there is, how can I be here experiencing all of these extreme things and not have any support and not feel the love of the creator? What is this hell that I'm in? Can be some of the 22 four when it's in challenge. So they can need a lot of love, a lot of support and um, helping them to understand why they've been creating it and again helping them to step into their mastery because these guys are the masters like they are they can be profound teachers spiritual talents spiritual goals you've got a master master teacher probably an ascended master teacher come back to deliver very key teachings complete teachings into the world so help them to see their challenges as gifts, help them to transform them, to move forwards. And again, these guys, like they need to be out there serving, like sharing all of the wisdom that they have inside of them, all of the gifts that they have to share with the world because of the rite of passage that they've been through. 